Good morning everyone. Today I'm testing for the first time the first self-driving taxi. Baymo is currently operating in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Phoenix and Austin area. So if you're in one of those areas all you have to do is download the Waymo One app and it asks you to either enter an invite code or to join the waitlist. If you have any questions how to get an invite code please leave a comment and I will share some tips. So we are ready to order the Waymo. So all you have to do is open your Waymo One app and then you just need to enter the address where you would like to go. We are going to a coffee place in West Hollywood. Once you entered your destination, it gives you an estimate time when the car will be here. So let's confirm pickup. Then right down here, it shows you the cost of your trip and we will request the car. That our car will be here in one minute. So we're excited. Almost at pickup spot. It's here. Your car, it has my initials. The car is unlocked, so we're ready for a drive. So we're in the car, so you can either start the ride from your app or you can just click here on the monitor. So let's start the ride. Hello from Waymo. As we get going, just give us one minute to cover a few riding tips. This experience may feel futuristic, but the need to buckle up is the same as always. So keep your seatbelt fastened, please. If you're traveling with little ones, please see the seatback card for more information. We'll do all the driving, so please don't touch the steering wheel or pedals during your ride. We may use interior cameras to check on riders, improve our products, and more. But our microphones are only on when you're connected to rider support. So sing your heart out. We can't hear you. You can also use the app or passenger screen to speak to a rider support agent at any time. In the rare case of an emergency, please keep your seatbelt fastened and remain in the car unless there's an urgent need to exit. Rider support will connect with you and provide assistance. Finally, relax. All right, our ride is starting. So it's just nice too, it shows you on the app as well that um, your drop off time, um, we will be dropped off in eight minutes. And now our ride starts. So actually right here you have your menu and that's where you can really like pick the music, the volume. If you ever need to any emergency, you can let the car pull over or you have always someone available for support. Right here you can adjust the music, um, change any destination and change the temperature as well. It's a little cold in here. What do you think about the ride? This is the most insane thing I've ever been in. I can't believe there's no driver. <laughs> Me neither. 
Welcome to the future. I know. So what we are trying to do right now is like we are trying to change the destination and add it a trip. Let's see if that works. We go to add a trip and we actually want to go to Rodeo Drive. Uh, let's see right here if we can. Uh, probably right here. Okay, perfect. Let's see if that's in that area too. Rodeo Drive, walk of style. Update trip. It shows you the extra cost as well. Updating your trip. 60 minutes to drop off. That was easy. Almost there. Don't forget your phone, keys, or bag, and any items in the trunk. For your safety, the doors will remain locked when we arrive. Pull the handle twice to exit. The first pull unlocks, the second opens the door. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting and don't forget any items in the trunk. We actually just arrived at our destination and we both just talked about it, how surprised we are, how comfortable we really felt during the drive, like without a driver. But it was such a smooth drive and I would definitely do it again. Yeah, I mean, this is a crazy experience. I never thought I'd be in a car without a driver, but it was really comfortable and, uh, you know, really enjoyed it. We do it again. Yep.